narcissistic individuals tend to have a very low self-esteem. They have a very fragile ego. Now, it's not always that easy to see when they come across so strong with that charismatic charm and their grandiosity and their arrogance because they're not willing to see anyone else's point of view other than their own, which is their protective mechanism to protect their low self-esteem. Now, we are all capable of struggling with a low self-esteem, especially if you were raised by a narcissistic individual or you dated one or you've been in a friendship with one. They will go all out to destroy your self-esteem and your confidence for you in order to feel better about themselves. So you might notice a few of these things in you that they have instilled in you, which is for us to deal with. When it comes to a narcissistic person, recognising their low self-esteem is things like them being highly defensive to criticism. Now, criticism isn't a particularly nice feeling, for none of us are perfect. We've all got things that we can work on and improve on. And it's not always a pleasant experience being criticised. However, with a narcissistic person, they don't take this criticism on bored with a genuine person they question themselves and what they can do to improve themselves with a narcissistic individual you're talking about somebody else you're talking about yourself their projection it's your fault it's somebody else's fault it's never their own they don't need to change you're the one that needs to change they are highly defensive to criticism yet they will project it out onto all those around them they have a high need for praise and attention and support. Now, when you're learning something new and you're not sure how you're doing it, it's very nice to have a teacher who is wise and knowledgeable to say, yes, that's right, or actually, no, if you can just adjust this, then that that's how it's done. Thank you. And that's how we learn. That's how we grow. With a narcissistic individual, anything and everything they do for you, they expect that praise and eternal gratitude from you. They will accuse you of being ungrateful, of not caring about them. They will go all out to dry beg to get that attention from you any way they can. They will go all out to ruin special occasions to gain that attention. They will go all out to throw a lavish occasion to get that praise and eternal recognition. They are often very insecure people, which is usually masked by their arrogance. They always have to be in the right. They are not interested in listening to anyone else's opinion. You should agree with them. And if you don't, then you are against them. And they will go all out to attack you, to pull you down, to claim that you're the one that's out to get them, to play the victim in the situation. They have a difficulty forming meaningful relationships. Now, a survivor of a narcissist can go all out to try and form a meaningful relationship. And if you're trying to form one with a narcissistic individual, it's not going to work out so well. However, just because you haven't managed to doesn't mean you don't have the capabilities to. With a narcissistic individual, they lack the capability to form those meaningful relationships. They are seeking that external source of validation, the reassurance on things they do. Now, when you've been devalued by a narcissist, you can seek that validation of reality and what's happened. It's normal to seek validation. With a narcissist, they're seeking that excessive external validation. We can seek it momentarily until we can gain our own perspective back. With a narcissist, they need that supply feeding them. They have that charismatic charm to hide their shame and their low self-esteem. They put others down in order to feel better about themselves. They have those double standards. No one's allowed to say a bad word about them, but they're allowed to say a bad word about you. They fear failure. Now, failure isn't a pleasant thing, and a narcissist will go all out to instill that fear of failure within you. However, with a narcissist fear of failure, they go all out to blame and shame everybody else. When you fail, who's a non-narcissistic person, you often think, what did I do wrong? How could I improve? What different... You, you think of so many different ways to approach something, to make something work. Yes, if we don't enjoy something, we can give up on the first hurdle. However, if we do, it takes practice and we never get that perfection. We're always 
learning we're always growing narcissistic individuals when they fail it's somebody else's fault they become aggressive and offensive towards others they lack empathy they ignore other people's needs they ignore other people's feelings they're simply lack the ability because they lack the empathy to care about other people however they do care about themselves which is why they're always trying to put their best face forward to sell people an illusion so that they can get their needs met by others now we can all put our best face forward when we're meeting new people however with a narcissistic individual they will lie and exaggerate about who they are as a person not just tell people the best side of them they make up who they are usually based on who you are as a person or the things that you would like out of life so that you feel like you have oh so much in common with them. 